by arrested, suspended, all words people here in Jacksonville associate with former Jaguars wide receiver Justin Blackman. But there's a story about him that never made the news, a story we learned only by going to his hometown. Joy traveled to South Central Oklahoma and found a man none of us have met. Joy. Mary, Tom, to most who know his story, it's sad. Justin Blackman giving up about $11 million of guaranteed money from the Jaguars after the NFL suspended him indefinitely for violating the league's substance abuse policy. I recently went to his hometown a few weeks ago, Ardmore, Oklahoma. That's when a judge was scheduled to sentence Blackman for his latest arrest and guilty plea for misdemeanor DUI. Instead, though, the judge decided to wait to sentence him so Blackman could complete his court-ordered counseling. But while we were there, we learned that before all of these disappointing decisions, he was making a difference. We were there as Justin Blackman and his father walked together into Carter County District Court. Hey, Justin, I'm Joy Purdy from Jacksonville. That side glance would be the only time Blackman would even look at me as he sprinted to the third floor of the courthouse in Ardmore, Oklahoma. The rule here, no cameras or recording devices inside the courtrooms. We could only shoot video through this narrow door window to see Blackman whispering with his father as they waited for the football player's turn before the judge. Then a better look as Blackman sits in front of the bench, still doing his best to ignore our camera. Police arrested Blackman in December, his third alcohol-related arrest since his college days playing football at Oklahoma State University. This is his fourth arrest overall. His run-ins with the law ultimately forcing the NFL to suspend him indefinitely. After leaving court, we asked his attorney if Blackman complied with the court-ordered substance abuse counseling, could he possibly make a football comeback? I don't discuss Mr. Blackman's personal life or any of his uh, future plans. We found a family who would. It's sad that people look at him that, oh, he screwed up his life, but Regular people do this every day. Blackman helped David Hamilton's daughter through her darkest days. The way I look at it, I would rather him not play another down in the NFL and just get treatment, get, get better. I mean, I don't... David's 13-year-old daughter, Olivia, was just seven when she was diagnosed with cancer. It wasn't fun at all. It was hard for Olivia to even say acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL, but she did know that when she and other children battling cancer visited the OK State football team on campus, Justin Blackman was the one player she connected with. The time he spent with her made her more than just a fan. Uh, I wore it one day, went to a game, and then he signed it. More than a follower. And we got invited to go down, or to go to Ardmore and see his family. Olivia became Justin Blackman's friend. I mean, how close a friend did he become with you? Really close. When Olivia's playmate died of cancer, Blackman was a pallbearer. This was uh, at her funeral. When Olivia beat cancer, Justin was there for her hospital celebration. That I was eating that cupcake, and I always eat the icing first. But instead of me eating the icing, he just smushed it in my face. <laughs> so that is hilarious. And he put it on himself, too. Blackman again breaks a tackle. Olivia and her family were Justin's guest at the Fiesta Bowl in 2012. And just months later, he flew them to New York for the NFL draft. The Jacksonville Jaguars select Justin Blackman. And this picture is from the NFL draft in New York. How was that trip? It was awesome. I wish we got to stay longer. She was like, yeah, I'm here to see Justin. She. <laughs> Yeah, she just wanted to chase him around yeah, and wanted did. to know why he couldn't just hang out with just her. The only people more excited than Olivia were her parents, overwhelmed, watching their daughter forget about her problems when Blackman was around. I mean, as a person, I mean, he's a great guy. I mean, he, he didn't have to do any of this. All the, all the players that go to hospitals, they don't have to do it. He was a hero and a big football star, but to us, he was someone that made my daughter smile. For a friend who's done so much, Olivia went and found his locker during a tour before a big OSU football game. I put a bracelet um, in there and it says, live, live, laugh, beats, ALL, 
which is acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and that's what leukemia I had. Blackman wore her bracelet during that game and has ever since. He came to the hospital and, and look me. what I see, yeah. one of those, your bracelet. bracelet. And just like that great friend who's become like family, Olivia's silence accentuates the sadness she feels when asked for her thoughts about Blackman's current struggles. Is there anything that you would want to say, any words of encouragement? One of the great receivers in college football. Though he may have moved on with his life, losing touch with old teams and old dreams, his youngest friend in her family, while disappointed in his decisions, pray the best for the man who still wears her bracelet in all he does. What does Justin Blackman mean to you? He just, he means a lot to me. A lot. Justin Blackman is scheduled to be sentenced August 24th for that December misdemeanor DUI. While he is suspended by the NFL, Blackman's rights are retained by the Jacksonville Jaguars. So if he is ever allowed to play again, the Jaguars can choose to play him, trade him, or release him. Talk, Joy, Joy, this story demonstrates what many addiction experts tell us again and again, that people with Justin Blackman's problem are not bad people trying to get good they are sick people trying to get well a lot of people praying for him that's right and i had my already my thoughts in my mind about him because of everything that we know in jacksonville but i'll tell you we sure learned a lot up there do the hamiltons are they able to keep in touch with him now you know the hamiltons they tell me that they haven't spoken with him in years blackman and his family they may be watching us live online right now the hamiltons want him to know they are praying for him to be safe and to get the upper hand on the problems that seem to haunt him. Now, right now, on newsforjax.com, you'll hear more of what Olivia and her mom and dad have to say about Justin Blackman, what he's done for them, and their hopes for his recovery. You'll also find a slideshow there, pictures that tell the story of Blackman and his relationship with Olivia and her family. You'll find it all on the homepage of newsforjax.com.